I am really sad because mine didn't work out. I, I honestly don't think it worked out. Amelia literally won. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know what I want to do. No idea. No idea. So yeah, that's how I'm going. to our channel today we've got a very different video and mm -hmm. i'm very excited i think we both are i'm very excited yes. it's a thrift, thrift flip <laughs> sister versus sister we are going head to head versing each other we are going to what we call the op shops in australia we're going to find something yeah we're going to find both don't know what we're making or yeah. if we even have any ideas no. or if we don't have any ideas <laughs> And then once we find some item that we think is flippable, as in like you can change it into something better mm -hmm. or more modern or mm -hmm. more accommodating to whatever you want it for, and you DIY it, guess who's gonna be the judge? You Dude. are. <laughs> So that means you have to comment down below in the comments who won, whether it was me, vote for me, or <laughs> Amelia. <laughs> so let's go shopping. Say hi, Evie. Oh, say hi. She wanted to be in the vlog. Okay. Now while Amelia's not here, I already have a plan. <laughs> so, um, I'm thinking of doing that. Do you pay it? Amelia! For the newborn. I have a basket, this is really cute. Oh, I'm showing you. Okay, so, um, as I said before, I'm going to be creating a two pounder pants for my kitchen. I'm trying to find like a, a lampshade that I can like strip back and create something, but I can't see any. So, yeah, I'll keep you updated. This is the first shop though. I haven't found anything. Have you found anything? I found something, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it for flip. Okay, all right. Well, all right, stay tuned. So glad I found some damn shades. They're not matching. I need two matching ones, but I mean, I was thinking either doing two pendant lights or one like big lamp shade. I don't know, but we'll see. No idea what's going on. I don't know what I want to do. No idea. No idea. So yeah, the towel gone. shops we did a lot of shopping we went to like mm -hmm. five stores and it was <laughs> it was very hard yeah I couldn't find exactly what I wanted until we went to the second last store and then I didn't have a plan so I was going in there organically <laughs> trying to find something she yes. had a plan so there was pros and cons for both ideas mm -hmm. but we did find something we did so should we show so, them? I don't so. know what she's doing so <laughs> so Bridie actually pointed this out she's like oh you could use this for your baby I'm yeah. like oh yeah yeah, I do have one at home already, but I thought I'd make this super cute and I'm going to add handles. Like, Wait, um, what's it for? A baby. Oh, okay. Just I'm, up styling. I'm up styling okay. it because it's very plain. It's just, yeah. it was $20. It has not even like a sheet on there. It's just a mattress. It's very boring. So I'm going to add handles so I can carry the baby around. Oh, Maybe like crochet cute. them or make like rope handles of some kind. I'm not sure mm. yet. So I'm going to make a cover for this oh cool and I'm gonna add the handles somehow 
and then I might make some sort of decoration all the way around whether it's tassels whether it's bunting or macrame I'm not sure what it will be yet but something to make it look cute and pretty nice yeah. all right my one I'm so excited to hear what you're doing because it's like <laughs> not obvious but it is I don't know okay I went to so many off shops trying to find two lampshades that they were the exact same <laughs> and I finally found them <laughs> And they're like literally the perfect size as well. I'm gonna strip back this and it'll be the bare wire. And then I'm going to remake a like a, a cover, but it's gonna be twine roping wow. it through. Yeah. It'll be nice. like, a, like a beachy boho sort of thing. So and then cool. I'm going to attach a pendant cord and hang it in my kitchen. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's a good idea. Do you have like, oh you got down lights, don't you? Yeah. Okay. I already went Stanley knife, took it down, <laughs> saw what the connection was. Yeah. That's awesome. That, that looks was really cool. I was looking at it all weekend. I was so excited. Wow. Asked Michael, he he was like, Brady, you're so excited for this. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so mine was $20 and these were $8 each. So bargain. Pretty right. All right, let's go. Okay, so I'm starting my DIY. I'm going to be, as I said before, DIYing this lamp. and I'm going to make it more of a coastal style instead of this blue color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to strip back this material here and then I'll start with the base of the wire. So it's a blank palette. All right, I'll do that. As you saw before, I cut off all of the lampshade to make it bare for the wire. And I didn't realize that there's no structure in here and that there are only two separate pieces. That's a round part there and that's the round wire there and they're not connected, as you can see. So, I had to reconnect one of them. <laughs> By connecting it via skewers. That was a lot of work. <laughs> I was like trying to work it out for so long. But anyway, I eventually worked it out. I hot glued some skewers on, got the shape back. Hopefully when I wrap it around, it will be okay. What you probably should do is you could paint this white and then wrap the string around. That's the quicker way. But I kind of wanted to see the light coming through the string and it, it will, but not to the extent that I want it to. I'm gonna have to just cut off this one as well and do the same, maybe make the structure before I disassemble it so then I have to re-get it again. Try and find a lamp that has structure in it <laughs> when you are buying it if you wanna strip it back. Anyway, I'm gonna to attempt to put the string on now. I think Amelia is at Spotlight, she's getting her supplies, but I haven't seen what she's created yet, so yeah. This is Amelia Cam and I'm gonna show you what I'm up to. Haven't done a lot, but I went to Spotlight because I needed some fabric and I found some fabric to make a little bassinet cover. Now, how cute is this? I don't know what gender I'm having yet until tomorrow. Yay! So it was very, very hard to find something that was gender neutral and that I liked because there was so many cute flower prints and I was like, oh, if this kid's a boy, then that's gonna be different. But so anyway, we found, I found this cute thing. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it out, use the foam mattress as a pattern and cut around it with enough leeway to be able to put some elastic around the edge to make a fitted sheet. So that's what I'm gonna do. I have sewn the bassinet sheet. I'm just gonna thread some elastic through the pocket of sewn using a safety pin to guide the elastic through the pocket. All right, well, let's do it. Okay, so I'm just about to fit this sheet on. Let's see if it fits. Oh my goodness. Oh, it looks so cute. 
so I haven't seen Amelia's uh, project yet and she hasn't seen mine like it's it actually in the making we saw the before products of it so this is taking a long time but it's gonna be worth it anyway I'm going to continue wrapping around my lampshade all the way around and then I'll be finished this one So update, I'm trying to find a way to make handles that are safe and strong and easy to use and I kind of didn't really want leather, I kind of wanted a bit more neutral so if it is a girl I can do more girly things to it or I don't know. And it was a struggle to do leather because like you have to use certain materials and stuff. So look, these are just handles off one of those green bag type things and I'm going to attach it to the basket. Can you see that? I'm gonna like loop it through the top and sew it together. Genius. Okay, I'm on the floor here. I'm by the hot glue gun. <laughs> anyway, I realized I was raveling it like the same amount from the top and the bottom, but I didn't actually realize that the circle below is actually larger. So then when you wrap it, it like kind of goes on a tilt because of how large the circle is and how small this one is. So on this side, I've had to like overlap it and then have it like one thread there. So I have to undo all that. I've been undoing it, so. <laughs> But if you had if you had the same circles on both bottom and top, if they were the same size, then you could just wrap it around. So I'm about to do something really crazy and it might look really awkward and it probably will be awkward. And I'm gonna sew the straps on the sewing machine. Well, at least try because I like can sewing, I can do, obviously I can hand sew, but it's taking a long time. I don't have time <laughs> and I want it to be extra strong because it's gonna be carrying my baby. So well, let's give it a go. Yeah, so this is what I'm trying to do while I have this attached. Super, super awkward. Hopefully it works. Well, that didn't work. I broke the needle. You can see that. Yay, back to hand sewing. I am really sad because mine didn't work out. I, I honestly don't think it worked out. Amelia literally won. Anyway, <laughs> this is what I... <laughs> it looks so bad and I put so much work into it. It turned out so horribly. Do you know why? Because I stuffed up in the beginning by cutting off all that molding and now it's just gone so out of shape. I'm done. It's horrible. It's so lopsided. And this all came like apart because the structure wasn't very good. So now it looks like all gross. So update, finished the handles. Thank goodness. And now I'm just trying to make some little decorations to go along with it on like the handle, like a tassel or something. But I'm making these leaves out of leather because it matches the bedding. And I might put some wooden beads with it or something. I'm trying to figure out what to do because it's real late and I've been doing this for a while and I'm tired. So yeah, we'll see how we go. So we've completed our first sisters versus sisters thrift flip and it was a challenge, wasn't it? That's for sure. <laughs> we both haven't seen each other's DIYs that we came up with. Uh, we are filming this on a separate day because we worked so hard and so yeah. long on our DIYs. So many things went wrong, but now we're going to reveal to each other our DIYs that we yeah. did. And we kind of have an idea, like we mentioned before, that what we're doing a little bit, yeah. but we haven't seen it. Yes. Closing them. Mm -hmm. Okay, open. I love this. Thanks. Oh, the handles. Guess what the handles are made out of? 
What? They're from like a green bag type thing, like a recycle bag. Oh no! Like way. the handles off it. Oh How my good gosh! Is that? This is gonna work so well for the baby boys it room. It will work. Yeah, I love this. Isn't it cute? It's like little gum leaves. Oops. Yeah, they look little gum leaves or leaf. That's things. so cool. And can you see the inside as well? It was so hard to find the fabric I wanted, and but it was hard because like all the flowery prints were so pretty, and the boy ones were like really boy. So I was trying to find something neutral, but mm. some of the neutral ones are just boring. And I really wanted like a leafy thing. Yeah, so. that's really cool. I love yeah. this beadwork. Mom has so much stuff there. Yeah, so leather. Good. Yeah, that's all hers. <laughs> yeah. I love that idea. That's Thanks. awesome. Anyway, that's mine. Can't wait to put a baby in it. Okay, I'll go get mine. Oh my gosh, Bridie. What? I can bring the baby in this to your house. Oh, that's such a good idea. And I can just put it in here. That is such a good idea. Oh, I can't wait! <laughs> Alright, three, two, one. Makes such a difference though, but your shape's a bit funny there. <laughs> what do you honestly think? It's a bit lopsided. <laughs> I can see what you're doing though. I can see that it look really good, but it, <laughs> have you lost the stick there or <laughs> So would you hang this up in your house? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> your phone that's why I came in the second time and I told them I said I'm gonna see <laughs> Amelia's honest reaction and see if she'll just say she loves it or if she'll tell me that it's bad <laughs> well I could see the the vision let's just say that yeah. first up but then I saw the lopsided <laughs> yeah and all the sticks are coming off <laughs> oh wow yeah that's it sad. went to you were so excited. I know. That's really depressing and sad. You know how that was my my least favorite time doing a DIY. I was so deflated. I vlogged it. I was like, I'm so done. Oh. And that's why I wanted to go home. I was like, I just want to go home. And I came home to Michael. Did you cry? He was like, he was like oh, can I see your DIY? You've been so excited about this one. And I was like, <laughs> and he was like, oh no. Because <laughs> all weekend I was talking about it and yeah. Aww. Aww. It's because it's because I cut it up before thinking. Like it was coming together quite well. Yeah. And my last few twines around it, it twisted it. And I was like, I have spent the whole entire day doing this. And I just wrecked it. So we can clearly see the winner. Me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't even need to vote, guys. But if you want to, go if ahead. You want to, <laughs> if you want to support my DIY that failed, uh, go ahead. But um, I won't be offended if you like it. <laughs> it's it's they can't even see it from the funny view. Like, look. Let's, let's, let's show you an up close. This is how bad it is. And like, look. It could be just all the nasty. sticks. Are coming off. Yeah, see, there's your supportiveness coming through. <laughs> <laughs> I said to the camera, I was like, I wonder if she'll be supportive or she just will be like, that's horrible. <laughs> well, I didn't say that's horrible, but. You're like, oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed this video, if you relate to me and fail at DIY, some, DIY sometimes, comment down below saying, that's me! <laughs> Or if you're just perfect. <laughs> yes, like Amelia and win at everything. Oh, whatever. I've never won anything but like I've loved like, one thing on my life. Comment down below who the winner is. And also comment down below if you want us to do these type of sister versus sister videos again. Because we'll be happy to film them for you. Definitely. Because yeah. we didn't see each other for a whole day. Like, we were separated. Yeah. It was definitely versus versus. Yes. Like, like and subscribe if you like this channel and you want to see more content like what you've just seen and other things as well. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. Ah, you say it. Welcome back. <laughs> Mom, Amy, my buddy, two kids, <laughs> me, 
Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait. What? Why are you waiting? Are you oh, not, are you she wants ready? to be in it. <laughs> are you ready, Evie? Are you ready? Yeah? Wait. Ready? ready? Okay. My name's Bridie. <laughs> and what are we doing today? Sewing. Sewing. <laughs> Pretty accurate. <laughs> Sewing. Ooh. What bug? Mom, Evie, Mom, Daddy. Yeah. <laughs>